In this tutorial, I will explain what Prahma is. But first, a small introduction. The Solidity documentation is used as input for this video tutorial and is not intended to replace the Solidity documentation. This is the Solidity documentation I am referring to. This link can also be found in the description below. When reading the Solidity documentation, you sometimes need additional information or code examples for a better understanding of the subject. This tutorial will hopefully provide you with these answers. This tutorial uses the online remix IDE, this IDE, to compile and debug the Solidity smart contract without having to install any software on your computer. An up-to-date online version is accessible at remix.ethereum.org. All my Solidity tutorials and presentations can be found at this link. This link can also be found in the description below. The Pragma Directive, for example, Pragma Solidity 0.4.0 semicolon, specify which Solidity compiler version to be used when processing its input. The Pragma Directive works on Solidity version 0.4.0 and up. This is a sample smart contract. When I select settings, my current Solidity version is 0.4.0. When I change my Pragma directive into 0 0.3.0 and I change my version to 0.3.4, this should work, but I get an error message. This is because the Pragma Directive only works for Solidity version 0.4.0 and up and not below. You must remove the Pragma Directive when using Solidity versions below 0.4.0. This will compile if you use, for instance, 0.3.4 or 0.2.0. Or, or 0.1.7. More complex rules can be used when specifying the compiler version. The expression follows those used by this URL. If you click on this link, you will see this. You can use these operators, these pipes, the hyphen, the star, the tilde, and the caret sign. The Solidity contract used in this video can be found at this URL. If you click on this link, you will see this contract. Use the latest Firefox or Chrome browser version when accessing this URL. If you specify this line, it means match the compiler versions greater or equal than 0.4.0 and smaller than 0.5.0. This line means match the compiler versions 0.4.5, 0.4.6, 0.5.0, 0.5.0. But not the versions 0.4.4 or 0.3.0. This line means match the compiler versions 0.4.0 or this range 0.4.3, 0.4.4, 0.4.5, 0.5.0, 0.5.0, 0.5.0, 0.5.0, 0.5.0, 0.5.0, 0.5.0, 0.5.0, 0.5.0, 0.5.0, 0.5.0, 
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.